Hi guys, we are here at the local council right now and today is a special day. We're gonna give our notice with the intention of getting married. So we already got a letter which we read just recently mm -hmm. and in the letter they say we are going to be separated during the interview. So love, I'm just wondering, do you have any expectations about the upcoming interview? Um, my expectation is that they will thoroughly ask me or you if our relationship is really genuine if we really we are really you know know each other okay so obviously we're gonna have to present some evidence in that regards and also they're gonna check our personal this is yeah. this is my expectation they're gonna they're gonna ask some personal questions mm -hmm. about you know our wedding if the if we manage to book the venue mm -hmm. just yet something like that so I don't expect any, you know, tricky questions, but maybe there's some surprise that's waiting for us. True. Um, so for now, uh, we're just gonna end the video, and in the meantime, I'll let you guys to enjoy something else. Bye bye. I badly wanted to experience the Hungarian cuisine, so we decided to start our day by visiting the only Hungarian store in Bletchley. If you are a fan of Hungarian foods, I can highly recommend to visit this place, as all of the products are truly authentic. Needless to say guys, I completely loaded the boat. If you want to see the reaction of my Filipina fiancé, then check out my next video, link in the description. I've never been to IKEA before and I've never tried Swedish food. So Laszlo took me to the nearest IKEA for a short break right after our grocery run. We both know how important it is to fall in love with the country you live in. So we just want to enjoy life. This time, finally here in the UK. This is our first vlog, so I hope you all enjoy this kind of content. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video if you haven't done it already. To my fellow Filipinos, keep dreaming and never give up on your dreams. Chase them, fight for them, and good things will come. Uh, we have a quick lunch after being to the Hungarian grocery store. And then after that, we're just gonna go home. We're gonna have a traditional Swedish meatballs. And look at the beautiful view, of course. And after that, we are going to the Koko Council and well, see you after the disappointment. Hello guys, we finally finished after almost an hour of interrogation and there's a very very funny thing happened. What happened Stephanie? Yeah, it was so funny when the council staff asked me about his gender. So. <laughs> For those of you who doesn't understand what's going on, mm -hmm. I am a male, born male, you know, with male parts, you know, in the downstairs and everything. <laughs> I never transitioned, I never believed I'm a woman or anything beyond a man, okay? But in a Hungarian passport, I'm gonna put a picture maybe of Mr. Bean, you know, on the screen. Oh, yeah. So you guys can see it says uh, F slash M, so female slash male. And the lady inside was so, so confused because of yes. that, that thing, like, she thought like I transitioned from a female to a male or something, but then <laughs> And she's she's actually yeah. not sure. So she I... was, that's that's the lady was interrogating Stephanie mm -hmm. for like 40 minutes, like how she come? Asked me, Are you sure he's a man? <laughs> of course. Yeah, very, very sure. <laughs> so oh guys, always expect the unexpected. And just like for us, uh, we didn't expect it that we need to present a photocopy, a passport size. Uh, uh, a copy of, a photo of ourselves so now we just gotta go to the nearby um, shopping mall and we try to figure out like, where can we make yes. make a make a, a a passport size photo of us you know if you want to see the next video please click on the link in the description or subscribe so you won't miss out <laughs>